in late summer, among the various golden flowers, one of the dominant ones is goldenrod. This is grass, grass-leafed goldenrod. It has these thin, narrow, long leaves, and it grows on a tall stem and then branches out and produces tiny little flowers at the top. There are many varieties of goldenrod. Another one we have right here is extremely common. This is tall goldenrod. And this again produces tiny little flowers, but in their combined impact, they make a wonderful golden glow over everything in the fall. And because this is so visually prominent, a lot of people think, oh, the goldenrod is blooming. That's what's bothering my allergies. And it's a good observation that at the time the goldenrod blooms, there are a lot of allergenic pollens in the air. But if I just demonstrate that these pollens are depending on insects, pollinators, to come along, collect them, and bring them to another plant. Because if I flick this plant, these pollens are sticky. They're not going anywhere. They're not meant to be airborne. However, what's bothering allergies right now is common ragweed and giant ragweed. And there are a couple of other plants, some artemisias, that are also weedy, that are sending their pollen into the air, but they have a very different pollen structure. So here's a ragweed. This is one of our two main ragweeds. We have giant ragweed and common ragweed, also known as Ambrosia artemisifolia, Latin name. And this is wind pollinated. It has pollen that is just ready to be windborne, airborne. Were you able to see that? Mm, I saw that. <laughs> 